Hi guys and welcome to my channel. This is our teddy bear what we're gonna do today. It's so big that it's not fitting into the frame. I'm gonna try it that way. Uh, it's so cute in real life and the camera, I don't, I don't know, on camera it's not looks that nice, I think. Although, it might. Uh, it's gonna take you a while, but it's totally worth it. You're gonna love it. I've already did about three of them. And I'm just like, so in love with them. They look like a baby, like a small baby. Just wanna cuddle with them. Uh, the size of it, it's, I have, a I have a measure here. So it's about 16 inches, 17 inches. Yeah, roughly 17 inches. And uh, in centimeters is like 43 centimeters, 44, which is quite large. It's very big. Uh, the waist is a lot, but it's worth it. Just believe me. Uh, okay. So if you like what I'm doing, I'll tell you now, just subscribe to my channel, leave a comment below and just a like if you feel like it. Uh, and I'm sorry for any mistakes that I've made there and for my speaking. I know it's challenging. So yeah, let's begin. Okay, guys. So for our teddy bear, we're gonna need uh, the yarn. Uh, I'm going to use this um, brown one. It's Yarnar Dolce, if you want. The color is 765. Uh, the teddy bear is gonna be quite big. So I would suggest you to start, if you're a beginner, you need about four, four like that maybe three and a half. For me, I would be used around three, I think. Um, the hook, the hook is number four. Uh, we are also going to need a needle, scissor, to sew everything. There is gonna be some sewing. And a little piece of advice before we start. So once we start everything, each pieces so such as ears suggestion to them in the same day because every day is different uh, tightness of your crochet so it's gonna be different sizes this is what I get after a while I wish someone will tell me that so if we're gonna do today uh, hands legs and ears this is a small pieces what we, we will have to sew them so do on the same day please Okay, so let's begin. Uh, we're gonna begin with ears. I've made one already, and you do two. So we're doing a chain of two loops. And from the second loop, from the hook, we're doing six stitches in. Okay guys, on the next row we're doing six increases. After we did the six increases, we're doing one stitch, one increase six times, and you're going to have 18 stitches. The next row guys, it's two stitches increase six times, and after that we're doing three stitches increase six times. So I'm gonna repeat, we're doing now two stitches increase six times, and you're going to have 24 stitches and after that we're doing again three stitches increase six times okay guys uh, i finished this three stitches increase three times and we have 30 stitches on the row now we're doing three rows up without any changes 30 stitches three rows by yourself all right guys i finished this three rows now the next row we have to do one row with decreases so we're starting three stitches one decrease and like that six times i'm sorry for the noise uh, crocheting very tight so so decreases we're doing from the first half of the stitch hidden one this is hidden decrease so we're taking the first half and from the other stitches the, the second half and we crochet them together 
and like that five more times okay finish this uh, row with the creases three stitches decrease um, now what we have to do is the last one we have to crochet this both sides together so we fold it into like that and we take in the one side of the wall and from other side we take in the stitch from other side of the wall just like that and we're doing 12 stitches and we're cutting the yarn if just imagine if you want to sew the ears because the ears you're gonna sew into the head so if you want to sew with the same yarn live longer in my case i'm gonna sew it with fine yarn i have a brown like that so i'm gonna use that one uh, because i like it that way you choose it's whatever you want to do it's just doing and yeah finish that one doing the slip knot and next is going to be legs okay guys now we're doing feet uh, we're taking we're doing a chain of two loops and from the second loop from the hook we're doing six stitches one two six stitches 12 stitches now uh, don't forget to mark your row guys and we're doing one stitch one increase six times and you're going to have 18 stitches okay i have 18 stitches so the next row we're doing two stitches increase and after that we're doing again three stitches increase and we're finishing at four stitches and increase six times then you're going to have 36 stitches once you achieve this four stitches increase and we have 36 stitches we're doing five rows up 36 stitches i will let you do it yourself that and we're gonna meet after that okay guys so i did this five rows with 36 stitches now we change the marker and we're gonna do the creases first we're doing nine stitches okay i did nine stitches now we're doing one decrease decrease we're doing from the first half of the stitch hidden one so we're doing one decrease now again we're doing two stitches again one decrease again two stitches again decrease We're doing again two stitches again one decrease and two stitches one two and one last decrease and nine stitches till the end of the row Okay, next row, we move the marker and we're doing eight stitches. Eight stitches and we're doing again one increase, one, de one decrease, so two stitches together. one stitch again one decrease one stitch again one decrease one stitch and one more time one decrease one stitch and the last decrease we're doing now the fifth one decrease and till the end we have eight stitches two four six eight 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 or nine nine stitches sorry we have nine stitches till the end okay guys i finished this row next row 
it's going to be uh, 26 stitches without any changes. We meet in the end. Okay, guys, so I finished this uh, row 26 stitches. Uh, the next one, I already start, but I will be go back because I messed up a bit in the video there, so I had to delete it. So we're doing eight stitches. Next row is eight stitches. Here I've got two, three, five more, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now we're doing five decreases in a row. First half of the stitch, hidden one. First half of the stitch from one stitch, uh, second half of the stitch from another, and we're crocheting together. Five times we need to do like that. You do yourself that. Okay, I finished this five decreasing. Uh, till the end of the row, we have eight stitches. So we're doing these eight stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, from this row, we have to do 11 rows up without any changes, 21 stitches. We should have 21 stitches, so we're doing 11 rows up. Meanwhile, uh, if you want, you can fill this one up. Not too tight, well, tight-ish. To, to feel soft still, but still to have some shape. Uh, yeah, so then we're gonna meet. And once we finish this uh, 11 rows, we're gonna meet and we, we will have to fold it into like that and crochet it together. I'm gonna, I'm gonna explain you once we're done there so yeah we're gonna meet after 11 rows up now please okay guys so how i said i finished this 11 11 rows up uh the top half on the top we're not feeling too much to be more like um we're gonna crochet this into the bar so to be flat here it has to be flat here i hope you understand what i'm saying um and we're folding like that into this corner to look at the front of the feet here and we're crocheting with both sides just like that take on stitch from here one from other side and we're doing 10 stitches like that we're cutting the yarn at the end doing a slip knot cutting the yarn and the next one we're gonna do its hands. Okay guys, so we're doing hands now. Uh, I already did one, looks like that. And we're starting with a chain of two loops. And we're doing six stitches inside. Okay, next row is six increases. So we're doing increases like that until we're going to have three stitches increase six times, and then you're going to have 30 stitches. So now we're doing uh, six increases, two stitches in one six times. Then we're doing one stitch, one increase six times. After that, we're doing two stitches increase six times. And after this, we're doing three stitches increase six times, and you're going to have 30 stitches, and we're going to meet then. Then, okay, guys. So the last row was three stitches increase six times, and we have 30 stitches now. Now we have to do four rows up without any changes, 30 stitches. So, four rows, 30 stitches. Okay guys, so I finished these four rows up. Now we have to do one row with decreases, so we're doing three stitches. And decrease first half of the stitch from both sides. We're doing one decrease. 
and like that we have to do to the end of the row in the next one we have to do one row without any changes 24 stitches so we're finishing that one three stitches decrease and then one more row 24 stitches and we're meeting them okay guys <coughs> okay guys so the next row we have to do one more with decreases so we're doing nine stitches decreases in a row we're taking first half of the stitch from both stitches and we're doing one decrease this is the second one and the third until the end of the row is again nine stitches we'll be doing one two three or four five six seven eight nine uh, now we have 21 stitches so from this row we're doing nine rows up 21 stitches so we're doing nine rows up 21 stitches without any changes yeah you do that okay guys so i finished this uh, nine rows now just switch the marker on the top and we're gonna do one more row uh, with decreases so we're doing 10 stitches now one decrease and nine stitches so we're doing 10 stitches two three four five six seven eight nine ten and one decrease now and nine stitches till the end uh, after we've done this uh, row we finish this row we're doing two more rows without any changes 20 20 stitches okay guys so i finished these two rows <coughs> 20 stitches now we're doing one more row with decreases so we're doing six stitches Three, four, five, six, and one decrease first half of the stitch from two from two stitches. Now we're doing eight stitches. and two stitches and this is the end of our row, row now we're doing again two rows up 18 stitches without any changes i just forgot to mention you need to fill this one up i'm filling all the always at the end so but you do it now just stuff it good in the bottom half here not too much okay guys so i finished this last two two rows 18 stitches what i said so you see here we have like a curve i don't know how is the right word for that so what what you have to do now is just fold it into like that to look this corner to look on the front here where you have this curve or whatever 
and we have to crochet both sides of the wall with nine stitches so we're taking one and from other side another one and we're doing one stitch and like that till the end we should have nine stitches and um, the last one is doing a slip knot not <clears throat> and we cut in the yarn very short we don't have two because we're not gonna sew we're gonna crochet this into the body so we're cutting short and the hand is ready like that we have to okay guys so the next is the body we're gonna build up all the way up to the head so the head is gonna go straight we're not gonna do separately it's gonna just grow in some way from the body we're gonna make it uh, so we're starting as usually chain of two loops and we're doing six stitches inside okay finish the six stitches now we're doing six increases so two stitches in one loop six times all right guys uh, mark the row so the next one is gonna be one stitch one increase six times so we have to do these increases up to when it's gonna be nine stitches increase six times so now we're doing one stitch one increase six times the next row is gonna be two stitches increase six times and then three increases uh, three stitches increase six times and four increase six times six uh, five six seven eight and nine once we reach nine then i will be back to you so you can do it yourself i think that one so we're doing increases until you're not gonna have the last row nine stitches increase six times okay guys so i finished this uh, my last row was nine stitches increase six times and now we should have 66 stitches 66 stitches sorry <clears throat> just my tongue is twisted uh, yeah so now we're doing uh, three rows up 66 stitches without any changes and then we're gonna crochet in the feet so three rows up 66 stitches okay guys so i finished these three rows 66 stitches now we're taking our leg and the leg supposed to look in your left side take it like that yeah and we're inserting first stitch on the leg the hook and the second one from the body you're looking like that and we're doing one stitch together now again you're taking the second from here and try to not miss any stitches because it's not good a second here again one on the feet one here three and like that till the end then when you finish, you finish with the leg you're doing third um, 23 stitches and we're gonna put another one so we're finishing that one 10 stitches and then 23 stitches okay guys so i did this 23 stitches now we're taking the second one and if this one was looking to the left like that the other one we're taking and up to look to the right from opposite side like that with this uh, hump on the front to be and exactly same 10 stitches with this one so you find the first stitch on the leg <clears throat> I'm sorry and the first on this body and we're doing one together try to pull this one in somehow and tight it's a bit challenging for me to do this on camera but <clears throat> do 10 stitches uh, with the feet and crochet up to this to the end and we're gonna meet after that 
Okay, guys, so I finished this row. Uh, we we done this 10, 10 stitches. The last one was 10 stitches with the leg and 23 stitches up to the end of the row. And from here we have to do five rows up, 66 stitches without any changes. So five rows up, 66 stitches. Just a friendly reminder here. Yeah. <clears throat> Sorry if I'm talking too much. Okay guys, so <clears throat> I done these five rows. And the next row is we're doing 11 stitches. And then we're doing three stitches, decrease. First you're doing these 11 stitches. And then we're doing three stitches, decrease four times. Uh, the decrease is supposed to be here on this belly side. So it's gonna form the belly a bit. So it's gonna be nice. Anyway, so we're doing four times, three stitches decrease four times. And then we're doing 32 stitches till the end of the row. Okay guys, so the next row is uh, 62 stitches, one row without any changes. So 62 stitches. Okay guys, so the next row is gonna be again with decreases. So the last one was uh, 62 stitches, one row. Now we're doing now we're doing 11 stitches again. Two. Okay, so I done this 11 stitches. Now we're doing again three stitches. One decrease. So two stitches together, first half of the stitch. Now we're doing two stitches. Doing, now we're doing two stitches and decrease. And like that we have to do three times. So we done one time, now two times more. Two stitches, decrease, two stitch and decrease. Okay, I finished this two stitches decrease. Now we're doing 17 stitches. 17 stitches. Okay, I did this 17 stitches. Now we're doing one decrease. And now again, we're doing eight stitches, eight stitches and one decrease. Okay guys, so I finished this eight stitches decrease. Now till the end of the row, we have five stitches. We're just doing them. And from this row, we have to do four rows up without any changes. We finish these five stitches. <clears throat> we mark the row. And we have to do four rows by 56 stitches. So four rows up. Okay guys, so I finished these four rows. Now we're gonna do one more row with decreases. So we're doing six stitches. Three, four, five, and six. And we're doing one decrease. So two stitches together, first half of the stitch. Now we're doing 26 stitches and again one decrease so we're doing 26 stitches and decrease and till the end of the row you're gonna have 20 stitches so I'm gonna repeat 26 stitches decrease and 20 stitches and we're gonna meet them okay guys so I finished this row now we're doing next row it's with decreasing again and we're doing seven stitches one decrease and like that six times so two three four five six seven and two stitches together one decrease one two and like that five more times 
and we're going to have 48 stitches once we finish this row uh, we're doing one more row up uh, 48 stitches so seven stitches decrease five more times and then one row 48 stitches okay guys so i finished this row <coughs> without changes now we're doing six six stitches and one decrease and like that six times and then we're going to have 42 stitches once we achieve these 42 stitches we're doing two rows up without any changes for now just we're doing six stitches one decrease and like that six times and then two rows up 42 stitches and we're gonna leave that okay guys so i finished these two rows by 42 stitches now we're gonna crochet the hands so we're taking the first hand with the this hump to be forward like the feet and you're inserting in the first stitch here and first on the body oh, it's gonna be challenging for me because it's getting bigger and bigger but i'm gonna show you so like that and we're doing with the hand about nine stitches So we're doing nine stitches with the hand and then we're doing approximately 10 stitches okay just do for now these nine stitches and then i will count how count how much i needed and i will tell you exactly the the quantity to be similar they're supposed to stay above the the feet like that so yeah, so you're in a bit nice stitches with the hand. Okay, guys, just a mention. Uh, because I did this slip knot here when I closed the, the hand, I have just eight stitches. But this is not a big problem. So you're just doing how much you have. Or it's eight or it's nine. It doesn't matter. If you have just eight, just do one more here. So you will have the right count. And after that, we're doing ten stitches uh, between hands. So we're doing nine on the hand or eight plus one and ten stitches okay guys so i did this ten stitches and based how this hand looks like i think i will be need to crochet two more so it will be 12 for me you're doing the same they're supposed to stay above the, the feet just like that so if you need one or two more it really doesn't matter or less just do it for you to look right to look symmetrical and with this one we're crocheting together again for me it's gonna be eight two four six yeah eight because of the slip knot it's hiding so eight yeah so just putting like that symmetrical and just crochet them together you can feel the the bar at this point if you want i'm not gonna do that because you're not gonna see on camera it's already hard to see the full length of that so we're doing we crochet in the hands and up to the end of the, the row and then I'm gonna explain what's next okay guys so I finished with the hands this is what I got so far for me it looks nice I think it's fine uh, if you don't like it you can go back and just anchor unneed this and just do one more or one less uh, just adjust whatever you want because the the stitches is not gonna change so it's gonna be the same 42 so it's not contributing too much on this uh, pattern uh, so you adjust just how you want for you to look fine and good enough that you will be pleased i'm pleased with that and my 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 fingers hoarse from this yarn to be honest so i'm sorry i'm talking again too much so i'm gonna skip to the to the point now we have to do one more row with decreases so we're doing five stitches one decrease and like that six times and then you're going to have 36 stitches so after we've done that we're doing three rows up 36 stitches so we're doing one two three four five and one decrease 
two stitches together. I'm sorry for the noise, but it's nothing what I can do. So like that, we're doing five more times and you're going to have 36 stitches. When you achieve these 36 stitches, we're doing three rows up without any changes. Okay, guys, so I finished this rows. Uh, I said there are three rows and I made a mistake there. So it's supposed to be two rows, not three. I'm going to write there um, a correction, just a fair warning, instead of three to do two, to do two. Hopefully you're going to see. Anyway, <clears throat> we're starting now with the head. So mark again your row. And we have to do from here 36 increases straight. So we're doing two stitches in one, in one loop 36 times. And you're going to have 70, yeah, 72 stitches. So in each stitch, we're doing an increase up till the end. Okay, guys, so I finished these 36 increases. So we have now, now we have 72 stitches and we have to do two rows, 72 stitches without any changes. And then we're gonna meet again. Okay, guys, so I finished this two row. Now it's harder and harder to, to fit this one in the frame. So <clears throat> I'm just, the easy moments, I'm gonna explain you with my words. And if we did so far, Together, I think you'll be able to do alone. Uh, now we're doing 11 stitches, one increase, like that six times. And we're going to have 78 stitches. I'm gonna repeat 11 stitches, one increase, so it means two, two stitches in one loop, and like that six times, and we're going to have 78 stitches. After we finish this row, we're doing 10 rows up, 78 stitches without any changes 10 rows okay guys so i did this 10 rows up i already stuffed a bit my my teddy bear um we have to to change the beginning of the row so what we're doing it's we're finding the middle of the of the head right here and just we're marking roughly where you think is the middle and that is gonna be from now on the, the beginning of our row. And we have to do 22 stitches without any changes, 22 stitches. Yeah, do that um, after I'm gonna explain. Okay guys, I did this 22 stitches. <clears throat> now what we're doing is uh, six decreasing in a row. So we're doing from the first half of the stitch, we're taking one, and from the second, we're taking another one, we've been doing one decrease. And like that, five more times. Then we're doing six stitches, and again, six decreases. So I'm gonna repeat just one more time, we're doing now six decreases, then between them is gonna be six stitches, and again, six decreases. So here is gonna be our cheekbones. And he gonna look very nice, believe me, I've made a couple. So, yeah, do that. Okay guys, so I finished these decreases, now we're doing, till the end of the row, we're doing 26 stitches, roughly should be. And once we finish these 26, sti uh, 26 stitches, we have to do two more rows up by 66 stitches, I think, yeah. 66 stitches so we finish that row and then two more two more rows 66 stitches i'm sorry i'm just being tired a bit i was crocheting this teddy bear all day and my finger hurts <laughs> but i said i'm gonna upload this video so i'll do my best to finish until tomorrow okay just not gonna stuff your head with my crap uh 26 stitches two more rows Okay, guys, so <clears throat> now we have to do one more row. I finished these two rows without any changes. Now we have to do one more row with decreases, which is nine stitches, one decrease, six times. Yeah, just don't forget to mark your row again. And we're doing nine, nine stitches, 
one decrease and like that we're doing six times after we finish that it's gonna be 60 stitches and we're doing three rows up 60 stitches so i'm gonna repeat just one more time so now we're doing nine stitches one decrease and like that six times up to the end and then we're doing three rows up by 60 stitches and we're gonna meet there okay guys so i finished these three rows up what was the last one so i put the the ices here i choose is the i choose the the blue one so the eyes we're inserting this last three rows what we did we counting one two three and between third and fourth we're putting the eyes so you're just looking what is the middle from here and to be right in the middle three stitches there and three stitches there we putting right above what we did this uh, decreases i hope you understood uh, the eyes i have a ruler here ruler here so i'm gonna tell you roughly how much it is so it's about 0.7 inch okay, better in centimeters so it's two centimeters the eyes this is the biggest one I've got. If it was bigger, you can just put bigger. Let me just zip put on the safety pins. And we have to close the head. We almost finished with knitting, with crocheting. I'm sorry. So what we're doing now after you put the eyes, we're starting like eight stitches decrease six times, then you're doing uh, seven stitches decrease six times, um, six uh, stitches decrease six times, and like that, you decreasing one stitch each time until you're not gonna have six stitches left. And then we're just taking and sewing everything together, the last loops, last six loops, and meanwhile, fill up the head. Very, very nice, especially here are the cheekbones. Um, add as much as you can so he will be look like really massive on this side i don't know like a baby like a baby i'm already tired i think so i'm gonna finish it tomorrow because it's for me it's too much today i was knitting all day that but you do that if you have any question just ask me in the comments if i missed something and something is misunderstood knowing my accent and the way i speak for sure you're gonna have any question there okay guys so i'm gonna repeat just one more time we're doing eight stitches decrease seven stitches decrease eight stitches uh, six stitches decrease five stitches four three two one and then just six decreases and we're taking and we're sewing everything together we're hiding all the ends and that's it we're gonna move to sewing and giving the shape for for the face i believe in you i think you can do it yourself if you crochet with me until this time so it's gonna be easy for you to do this the last rows so see you when i'm done okay guys so i finished these rows with decreases the last one was six decreases and i sew it together so this is how it looks so far um, it's not fitting into the frame so it's hard to show we're gonna do that like that yet and it's gonna be very cute uh, we have to do the nose now so the hook number two i will use and the yarn i have a fine yarn from yarn art jeans uh, the number i don't know but it's any purple so i think i thought why not purple i will be do a purple nose so we're gonna start from magic ring and six stitches inside okay guys so i did the six stitches inside and i i tied it now the next row we're doing uh six increases so it's two stitches and one here it's hard to see because it's very very small everything so you're doing uh, six increases inside and you're supposed to have 12 stitches okay guys so i did this 12 in uh, six increases and i have 12 stitches now mark your row <coughs> and we're doing four stitches to 
two, three, and four. And we're doing two increases in a row. So we're doing two stitches in one loop, two times. And we have to do one more time, four stitches, and again, two increases. Okay, guys, so next row we're doing uh, six stitches. Three, four, five, and six, and two increases again in a row. One, and the second one. And we have to do like that one more time. After we finish that, we're supposed to have 20 stitches in this and be doing two rows up by 20 stitches i'm gonna repeat just one more time just to make sure i understood what i say what i'm saying <clears throat> so we're doing two four six stitches two increases and we're going to have 20 and after that we're doing two rows 20 stitches okay guys one last row <clears throat> so we're doing six stitches And we're doing two decreases in a row. So we're taking first half of the stitch, I don't know if you can see, and from the other one, another half. And we're doing like that two times in a row. It's struggling a bit because I'm doing very tied everything so it's hard um, yeah so just do one more time like that uh, six stitches two decreases one more time and we're doing a slip knot and that's it just leave some long yarn for long leave a bit long for sewing because you're gonna sew this nose okay guys so we're gonna manage the face now so I took some I have ear nudgings and you, like a brownish, brownish <laughs> um, yarn, and we're gonna tie it up the face just like that, yeah, to make his cheeks really big. Uh, so we're inserting the needle. You find the needle somewhere here, and you're taking. You, if you remember where we this we did this thirty six increases, it's somewhere here. So you're counting one, two, three, and between third and fourth, you're inserting here the needle, and we're doing a knot. Just like that. One more time, maybe. Like that. And now, insert it in the same hole and take as much as you can this um, <coughs> this filler I'm sorry <coughs> take as much as you can this filler I'm sorry for my coughing and you have to exit on the side of the eye here if you can see it right I don't have a long needle but you take the longest you have to be more comfortable for you and we're pulling all the way out now we inserting here on this side of the eye and we exiting in the same hole where we we insert this this needle close to it at least yeah and we're pulling all the way down just like that now we're doing the same way the same side you can keep with one hand here so we're inserting right across this other eye. 
again you're taking as much as you can this uh, filler so it's gonna have like good cheeks I have a small needle so it's hard for me to find this but I'm gonna correct it I'm just gonna exit here and I'm just gonna correct myself from this side this is the hardest part for me because I don't like it yeah and you're going again on this side here and you exiting in the same the same hole where we and all the time we're going in the same way here is gonna be our mouth sort of just like that it's, a, it's already cute I think <laughs> Um, you can do as much as you want like that to be very very tight if you want you can do one more time which I'm going to do I'm just gonna take it a little bit more of this filler with the needle Just try to to be right dead at the end of the edge and you just do like that one more time if you want it's really I'm gonna express more more feelings <laughs> okay you can do yourself that for now okay guys so I pin the nose we have to sew sew that uh, you can sew it yourself just fill up a bit the nose with um, filler and the ears we're gonna do the same we're gonna put it here just pin them pin them down before you sew in them i think this you can do yourself uh, the nose somewhere between i don't know from the eyes is about three rows down three rows down yeah between fourth and fifth i'm gonna put it so try to find the right middle and the ears is showing whatever you like i like it that way i don't know why because i think like that it looks like a cut so <laughs> i like it when it's that way so yeah uh, you do that i think you will be capable of that um i will show you well, how 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 went for me in a second or so. Okay guys, so I saw everything together. This is how it looks our teddy bear. I think it's really cute. I saw everything I've hidden every end of the every ends. Um I'm sorry for my English, it's just I know it sucks. So I I'm trying my best. Don't judge me too harsh. Um <clears throat> What we have to do yet um i don't have time to do it but i'm gonna explain you how to do the tail so we're doing again a magic ring or um, two stitches maybe i'll show you quick so we're taking the hook number four and i have here a leftover so we're doing two loops and in this second loop from the hook we're doing six stitches and then after we've done these six stitches we're doing uh, six increases then one stitch one increase six times and you're going to have 18 stitches once you reach these 18 stitches you're doing two rows up after we finish these two rows up we're doing uh, one row with decreases which is going to be one stitch one decrease and like that six times and when we finish that we're just doing a slip knot and that's it this is our tail just if you want you can fill up a bit with with this um, filler if not you can leave to be soft and just sewing somewhere here i'm not going to do now maybe later on i also think to to make any clothes for him like any jumpsuit or something for now i'm not sure what i'm going to do 
but the video is too long so it won't be in this video i will do another one if i'm if i'm going to decide to do it for now this is what we have so i hope guys you enjoyed and see you in the next video